Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all another Parasad recipe. And this one is for cream of wheat and flour mixed. It is the best of both worlds and it is my favorite Parasad to eat. So if you'd like to see how to make this really amazing and easy recipe, keep watching. Here in my saucepan, I'm going to go in with milk and I like using whole milk. You can use evaporated if you like. In goes two cinnamon sticks and I'm going in with some light brown sugar or you can use granulated next goes in some vanilla essence which is totally optional this does not contain alcohol so you don't have to worry next I'm gonna grate in some fresh nutmeg and we're gonna give this a mix place it on our stove on a medium to low heat and let it just stay there and heat through and keep warm so while that is keeping warm let's create the parsad so in a heavy bottom pan I'm going to go in with ghee or clarified butter if you can't find ghee you can use regular unsalted butter in goes my cream of wheat and I'm adding in that first I'll give it a mix make sure that it's absorbed with the ghee and once that has been mixed in properly then I'll add in my flour so you just want to mix it in it doesn't have to patch or anything so mix that add flour and then you're going to mix both together now you'll notice how heavy it's going to feel it has just the right amount of ghee for me if it's really really dry guys you can just add some more ghee this is how it should look when it has enough ghee so you see the consistency of it we're going to patch this in this pot on a low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes you will see how the consistency will start changing so from that heavy to this medium consistency and we're going to continue stirring 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 and it still has to get a little lighter than this so here we go you see that light consistency that is what you're looking for cooking it low for that long period of time is what helps you get this consistency this makes a really fluffy parasad so next goes in my raisins and some elaichi or cardamom powder we're gonna cook the raisins until they're nice and plump So just mix that in really well and allow it to cook until the raisins are plump. Once your raisins are nice and plump, look how amazing they look. And you can tell how light that batter is. We're going to go in with some ginger and I love using fresh ginger here. And you'll notice that I always put it into the parasad and not into the pag. I always add it here to the flour base first. That's the way I was taught to make it and that's the way I like to make it. So just mix that in. You don't have to cook it for long. You don't want to cook out the ginger flavor. Add in your milk mixture a little at a time. So add in about a half a cup to a cup and mix. Once it's been absorbed, you can go ahead and add some more. And remember guys, if you're not accustomed to making parasad, add it in small batches until you've used up all of the milk mixture. Now, I want to tell you guys, if you're mixing this, make sure you have it on a high or medium high heat. That helps to get the milk to absorb into the flour. If your heat is too low, you're going to get really soft, soggy parasad unless that's how you like it so that was the last of my milk i'm going to give this a good mix and once it's mixed in and it, the milk has been cooked out that's all you have to do now you can finish this with chopped cherries or chopped almonds or cashew nuts whatever you want um, i know some people even put mixed peel so feel free to add whatever you like so you guys see the consistency how amazing does this look it's not too dry it's not too wet and this is how I like my parsad so all you have to do now is just try to break it up by using the cutting motion and then this would be ready to be served how easy is that look how amazing that looks it's not too dry it's not too oily it's just perfect 
So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. It's so easy to put together once you follow my steps. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanted to make a bigger batch, you can double, triple, or quadruple this recipe. Thank you all so much. Please remember to stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.